Hi, I'm Darlene, and welcome back to my channel. This is Super at 60. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're passing through for the first time, I sure would love to have you stay here with me. Just press that subscribe button, press that like button. I can always use a like, and even my old good friends out there, please give my channels a like whenever you can. It really helps a small channel out like mine. And ring that bell uh, so that you know when all my notifications come out, and they do come out a lot. But today, today is gonna be so much fun. I have a complete delicious meal for you. And this is Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy's favorite childhood meal. I have had this recipe for quite some time. Today, uh, it's called Spice Chicken, and it is from the Hammersmith Farm where she grew up. Uh, Rhode Island, I think, up there, that way, yeah, somewhere up there. And that was her childhood farm, and she spent a lot of time there, and the cook would make this for her, as I understand. Uh, because she loved it so much. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it today. It has some of the most delicious flavors in it. It's got some yogurt in it, it's creamy, it's delicious, and oh my goodness, another favorite of hers was a spring creamy risotto. Can you even imagine? Oh my goodness, Parmesan cheese, it's over the top good. I'm gonna teach you today, in case you have always been afraid of risotto. Oh my goodness, I can't do risotto. I have to buy it prepackaged. No, you don't. You don't even have to buy a boreal rice the Italian Arborio short grain rice. You don't have to buy that. You can make it right with your own white rice. It works. I was gonna buy it at the store and then I thought, no, you know, I've got an awful lot of rice at home, so I'm gonna make it at home. So I'm gonna show you today how you can do it. It cooks a little bit longer, just a tad bit longer because of the rice, and uh, you'll need a little bit more stock and that's all. And I'm gonna show you all of that. I'll show you the finished product. And uh, I even have an extra surprise today because we were out of bread. So I had to make a sourdough cranberry orange bread. <laughs> I had to, I had to now y'all. So <laughs> I will show you that as well. Let's get cooking. Here I'm just putting the finishing touches on my delicious sourdough bread. It'll go nicely with our dinner tonight, I'm sure. I was a very young child when Jackie Kennedy became our first lady. I still remember my mother sobbing on the living room sofa watching the news of the tragic loss of her husband. I grew to admire her style and her grace. She was an elegant woman. So I'm happy to make her favorite childhood dish for you today. I sure hope each and every one of you will enjoy it and make it at home in your own kitchens. All right, here's where my chicken dish is gonna go. Here's where I'm gonna uh, perform my risotto. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And back here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start my chicken stock. You need, oh golly, probably two, three cups, maybe four. So I'm just going ahead and put about as much as I can. Maybe this whole carton in here. I'm just using a carton. Usually I make my own stock, but Today I'm just going to do it this way. It'll be just fine. Uh, you can use water, you can use wine, you can use bouillon, bouillon uh, whatever works. But it's easy. I'm telling you, I'm going to show you today how easy risotto is. All right, for the chicken, we're going to start out with a really nice uh, marinade. And we'll start with uh, some plain yogurt. That's all you need is just plain yogurt. It can be the Greek yogurt. You know, just make sure it's not a flavored, you know, like vanilla or something. Um, this is just fine, just plain, plain non-fat. That's what I, that's what I prefer. I think it just tastes better that way. And you need one teaspoon of garlic. I like to use a lot of garlic. So feel free to add just a little bit more if, if you like. A half teaspoon of cumin. I love cumin. I, I just, I love the flavor. I think that's probably why I like this dish so much. So if you like that flavor, um, you're really gonna like, you're gonna like this dish. So there we go. Spin two. All right. Now we need a half teaspoon of coriander. Half teaspoon of coriander. 
right and a half a quarter teaspoon excuse me this little itty bitty tiny guy right here we need just a quarter teaspoon of uh, coriander all right and just give it a really really good mix just like that And the last thing I like to throw in is just a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper. Nice cracked black pepper. All right, let's get chopping up that chicken. Let's get going on this beautiful chicken dish of Jacqueline Kennedy's. toss my uh, chopped onions in there. I love that sizzle. Oh my goodness. Nothing says good cooking like the sizzle. <laughs> that cooking sizzle. And then of course the smell that's right behind it. All right, I'm gonna let these cook in the butter and a little bit of olive oil here. Um, to they're nicely um, translucent, probably about two minutes. My rice is looking really good. It's starting to get just a little bit toasty, which is just the way you want it. Now, usually um, this is made with aborio rice, aborio rice, which is an Italian um, short rice, um, but you can make it with rice. This is just regular white rice and you'll be fine. All right, so we have our onion in here, we have garlic, and we have uh, about one and a half cups of rice right now. But again, like I said before, I always put the recipe below for you. I'm gonna start now with about a cup of hot chicken stock. Right on the back of the stove here, you needed to be having uh, some chicken stock getting nice and hot. And we'll just add little bits at a time of it. But right now, I'm gonna let this one cup uh, let the rice absorb this one cup. This is where risotto gets its creaminess. This is crucial that you do it little by little by adding that heated stock, the heated stock that is right back there, whether it's your own stock, your own fresh homemade stock, or whether it's from the store, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna stand here for just a few minutes and wait until all that broth is absorbed, and then we're gonna add some more. Okay, that was just about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and it's all absorbed, so we're ready to add another cup. And this is all you do, it is this, this simple. It really is, maybe I'll add just a tad bit more, but that's probably about a half, about a, half a cup. And just stir it up again. I have it on, um, in case you're curious, my oven numbers are a little different, but it says four, which is probably about a medium. Yeah, don't scorch your rice, other than that, you know, just keeping an eye on that. This is so easy. So again, you see it's very liquidy, but in just a matter of minutes, that rice is gonna absorb all that beautiful, beautiful broth. That's the flavor, that's the flavor. All right, I'll be right back again and we'll add even more broth. And we have some fun things to add in at the end too, so don't go anywhere.
All right, and here we are adding just the finishing touches here, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You gotta have that in risotto. Oh, it just helps with the creaminess. And here are some bright green frozen spring peas. Look at the color it adds, it's beautiful. You could also add some cut up asparagus and toss it, of course, with some nice, beautiful, fresh parsley. And don't forget, two little tablespoons of butter right at the end is just perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I had so much fun. <laughs> if not only because it smells so awfully good in here, my husband is just gonna be so overjoyed when he comes home tonight and sees that I made this dish. I think it's rated probably one of my top five dishes. It is that delicious. It's got a flavor that you just have to try. You just have to try it and it's so easy. It just came together. I could do them, you know, like side by side on the stove top came together so easily and the risotto is so smooth and creamy but yeah don't forget it needs to have a little tiny bit of a bite to it uh, in order for it to be a real true risotto so be careful with that the springtime risotto one of her favorites and this delicious Hammersmith Farm spiced chicken they were hers she loved them had to be a reason I hope you'll give them a try thanks for stopping by I'm Darlene this is Super at 60 I'll see you soon bye now and Lord bless.